Hey, Kevin. Hey, Earl. Great to see you as always. Absolutely, my friend. Another glorious week. Absolutely. Now we're in February. Love chatting mm -hmm. real estate, and it looks like 2024 is going to be an exciting year. It does. It really does. Things are definitely improving, um, you know, coming off the end of last year, you know, like what we talked about. A lot of great news coming down the pipelines, more inventory coming online, more interest from home buyers, you know, as well. So definitely excited about the way things are shaping up. Yeah, yeah. We've gotten uh, very busy lately. And as you mentioned, it seems like there actually are some houses for folks to take a look at right now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It looks like around back in about December, toward the end of the year, um, the number of new listings hit the market kind of dwindled down to right around 14, 1500, you know, new listings coming online each month. In January, that spiked up to 2100. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, a, a spike of 700 new listings, that's quite a bit of homes. When we're, and we're talking, you know, Greater Hampton Roads area, you know, the seven cities, Williamsburg, Isle of Wight. Um, you know, the, the surrounding neighbors. Um, so yeah, we, pop, we popped up about 700 extra single family homes in townhomes slash condos. That's exciting. Yeah, definitely. A little bit more, you know, inventory makes it easier in some forms for people to, um, you know, decide on what they want versus just having to settle, um, which is always a positive, you know. Well, and it gives you a minute to breathe, not not too many minutes, you know, because right. it's a good home that's priced right, still sells quickly. And mm -hmm. in some cases, there's still multiple offers, uh, but, you know, not quite as bad. But my expectation is come spring. Oh, man. Rates are going to continue to improve. There's going to be a lot more buyers coming into the market. So it's going to get competitive again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, right now we're averaging about – Two to three listed, I mean, two to three offers per listing. So, you know, still multiple offer situation. Like you said, as soon as the interest rates start to trickle down a little bit, we go on into the warmer, warmer weather. Um, I think the groundhog saw a shadow or didn't see a shadow, whatever the case, in early spring, you know. The spring's um, coming early. So, you know, as soon as that starts to happen, I expect those multiple offer situations to catapult from two to six or better, you know, so. Yeah, buyers we'll beware. <laughs> yeah, so it now, right now, February, beginning of March is probably a good time to be out there looking for opportunities before things go too crazy. Although, you know, like I said, they have been picking up. You know, my business was slow, uh, just really from Thanksgiving till mid to late January. Uh, but since then, it things are just popping again. So. I think people have seen rates have come down. We hit some highs in October in the eights. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, on a conventional 30-year fix, we're probably upper sixes. Uh, and if you're looking at a govy, so that's like your VA, FHA type mortgages. Those are low to mid sixes. So on a 30-year fix, there's some better rates out there. So that's stimulating folks, helping make payments a bit more affordable. Uh, so as they as 2024 goes on we're expecting a slow but steady improvement right 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 yeah and that's that's you, you know like i said any sign of that improvement is enough motivation along with the increased inventory for people to make great decisions moving from moving forward you know with homes um and one of the things that we were talking about before too is new construction um it's a lot more new construction that's been coming online um, and especially in the affordable range, three to four hundred, some five hundred thousand um, range. And of course, you know, higher luxury ends as well. Um, but one thing I want to touch on with the new construction homes was the reason for you to have a real estate agent on your side, not just the agent that you see on site when you go to the location. And the main thing about that is you have someone that is working for you. The on site agent represents the seller or the builder. Um, in which case, you know, they're looking out for their client's best interest. Um, so it's always good to have your own agent. It's sort of like I always compare it to, you know, if you're going to a high profile trial, you know, you don't want to go in there with the court appointed lawyer. You know, you, <laughs> you want to go in there with somebody that's going to, you know, somebody's going to help you in the case. So it's similar in, in real estate. Um, you want to in any situation, it's good to have that professional with you that has the experience, the knowledge of the area that can give you the good, the bads, and the uglies. Yeah, because you could experience turbulence along the way. 
It may be a smooth flight through uh, construction and closing, but odds are there will be some turbulence and having a real estate professional on your side that represents you, knows your rights, knows the laws can be very beneficial, especially if something goes sideways, you have a disagreement with the builder. Uh, it's really helpful to have somebody representing you. I've done it personally. I've built uh, three-ish, I don't know, uh, I've lost count, uh, home <laughs> with new construction. And every single time I've had a buyer's agent represent me throughout the process. And I have found it very helpful, very beneficial. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's, it's just having someone else there um, that knows the laws, knows the ins and outs, you know, can, um, you know, negotiate uh, to the maximum for you, you know, making sure that, you know, because sometimes even in situations that we think are just not fixable, you know, we think, hey, it's not going to work out. This this won't work out if this doesn't happen or that doesn't happen. That professional can that may have seen that situation before can guide you through a safe landing or a, a better way of getting things resolved that's feasible to everyone at the end. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what you do for a living. You've seen it. You've done it. So if uh, something comes up, you're like, oh, yeah, been there, done that. This is what we do. We're good. Oh yeah. So, sometimes I compare it to being a firefighter. You know, we're always putting out fires, man. Like <laughs> because yep. sometimes they do they do happen. You know, so yeah. Same great. thing in the mortgage world. You have your local mortgage professional because we know how to help through the process. And when things come up, we know how to deal with it in the best interest of protecting everyone. Right. Right. Yeah. And that's that's the biggest part. You know. So it's it's for your benefit as a buyer you know, having professionals on your side that are dedicated to you and work for you. Absolutely. Cool. Well, hey, if somebody wants to buy new construction and they need a great realtor to represent them, how do they find Earl? They can reach me at 757-871-4167, or you can reach me on my website, earl.belltowerteam.com. Sweet. And if you need mortgage or financing information, I'm Kevin Anazuk, your mortgage guy, loans with Kevin.com or 757-645-0196. Good deal, my friend. Well, hey, Kevin, it's always a pleasure. Until Absolutely. next week. Until next week.